everyone. My name is David Richard from Weekly Tools. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an informative video for all the DIY car enthusiasts out there. We'll be showing you how to test your O2 sensor using an OBD to scanner. O2 sensors play a crucial role in your vehicle's fuel efficiency and emissions control, so it's important to ensure they're working properly. So, let's dive right into it. Understand the O2 sensor. Before we begin, let's quickly understand what an O2 sensor does. The O2 sensor, also known as an oxygen sensor, measures the amount of oxygen in the exhaust gases. It provides feedback to the engine control unit, ECU, helping it adjust the air-fuel mixture for optimal combustion. A faulty O2 sensor can lead to decreased fuel efficiency and increased emissions. Gather the necessary tools. To perform this test, you'll need a few tools. Firstly, an OBD to scanner, which can be purchased online or borrowed from an auto parts store. Make sure it's compatible with your vehicle's make and model. You'll also need a pen and paper to take note of any error codes or readings. Lastly, have some safety precautions in place, like gloves and eye protection. Locate the OBD to port. Next, let's find the OBD to port in your vehicle. In most cars, it's located beneath the dashboard, near the steering column. It's usually rectangular in shape with 16 pins. Once you've found it, connect your OB2 scanner to the port. Power up the scanner. Power up your OBD2 scanner by turning the ignition key to the on position. The scanner will boot up and display a menu. Follow the on-screen instructions to navigate to the O2 sensor testing option. Start the O2 sensor test. Once you've accessed the O2 sensor testing option on your scanner, you'll have the choice to perform a variety of tests. Typically, you'll be able to test the upstream and downstream O2 sensors separately. Select the appropriate option based on your scanner's menu. Analyzing the readings. Once the test starts, your scanner will communicate with the O2 sensor and display the readings. The values should fluctuate between high and low voltages in response to changing exhaust conditions. Take note of any error codes or readings that fall outside the normal range. Interpreting the results. Now that you have the readings, it's time to interpret them. Consult your vehicle's service manual or search online for the specifications of your particular O2 sensor. Compare the readings you obtained with the recommended values. If they align, your O2 sensor is functioning correctly. Otherwise, you might need to consider replacing it. Taking action. Based on the readings and your interpretation, you can now decide on the next course of action. If your O2 sensor is faulty, it's recommended to replace it with a new one. Remember to choose a sensor compatible with your vehicle's make and model. If the readings are within the normal range, your O2 sensor is likely working. Fine. And there you have it, folks. Testing your O2 sensor using an OBD to scanner is a straightforward process that can help you identify any potential issues. Remember to consult your vehicle's service manual or seek professional advice if you encounter any difficulties or need further assistance. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more useful automotive content. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. As always, thank you for watching and drive safely.